US and the Soviet Union have been in an intense rivalry. During the Cold War, these two countries were in a more heated space race than in a frantic race, NASA was doing everything to achieve humanity's greatest feat, reaching the moon. The Apollo program was the United States' bid to take humanity one step further in history, accomplishing the feat in 1969 with the Apollo 11 mission. However, before this achievement, tragic events occurred. In one of the first Apollo 1 tests, a terrible accident occurred with three astronauts who died during a test where the cockpit caught fire and they couldn't open it. They arrived on Earth completely charred. It was a shock to humanity and a huge setback for the long-awaited achievement of taking humans to the moon. The tests stagnated for years before they resumed. Later on, another terrible accident happened 20 years ago on a NASA space shuttle flight, where seven astronauts also died charred after the landing went wrong. The man caught fire and disintegrated in the sky just minutes before it reached the ground. Certainly the most tragic accidents involving US space missions. Another very curious and interesting case was the case of the Soviet astronaut who was left or abandoned in space for almost a year. It certainly wasn't interesting for him, but stick around in this video to unravel this mystery. This happened in 1991. And unfortunately, the astronaut named Sergei Kriskalev was setting out on a space mission with two other mission mates, the Ukrainian Anatoly Artsevsky and Ellen Sherman. For her, this was her first mission, and she was also the first British astronaut to venture into space. The mission was on the Russian space station Mir. The plan was to stay at the station for four months, conducting some research and repairs. After this estimated time frame, a rescue crew set out in search of Ellen Sherman. Since it was her first time in space, they decided not to leave her longer than necessary, exposed to extreme conditions. However, Sergei and his colleague had to stay longer to keep the space station running. What they didn't expect was that the Soviet Union would collapse that year. While things were going smoothly in space on firm ground, the Soviet Union was starting to disintegrate rapidly. In a matter of months, the collapse of the then superpower occurred. While they were in space, with chaos in place and the economy completely unstable, there were no more resources to bring them back. The country that sent them on the mission no longer existed. Another team that was on a mission orbiting Earth on their way back passed them by. His companion, Anatoly Artisevsky, more experienced and having been in space for a long time, was feeling the effects and was taken back home. They replaced him with another astronaut, Alexander Vokovich. However, regrettably, there was no substitute for Sergei. He was the mission engineer and his job was extremely specific. There wasn't anyone else who could do it. So he had to choose between returning to Earth with them and leaving the mission. This would mean the end of the space station, which would be non-operational and lost in space with no potential for future recovery or stay and keep the mission and the spaceship operational. For him, it was a difficult choice, but he decided to stay. Although Sergei was an experienced astronaut, he knew he could have signed his own death warrant. His mission, which was supposed to last five months, was extended indefinitely. With the end of the Soviet Union looming, there was no telling when they would be able to retrieve him. He had never been in space for such a long period and he didn't know what effect it could have on his health and mind given the exposure to previously unknown conditions. He decided to make this sacrifice for the mission, but he also made his fears clear. He understood he could die there or develop diseases like stagnant blood flow, brittle bones, muscular atrophy, infections, cancer, reduced immunity, among others, all while being far away from home. What was initially a straightforward mission left Sergei in limbo for months, floating in space for more than twice as long he had planned, subjecting his body and mind to unknown impacts. The spaceship he was on had a capsule that could still take him back home, but according to him, he never considered the idea of abandoning the space station because he knew that it would be the end of years of research studies and dedication lost there in space. 
He also represented a country that didn't even exist anymore. It was a long 311 days in which Sergei watched from space as the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics became the Russian Federation. From space, he also saw his hometown, which was called Leningrad, become St. Petersburg. He became known as the last Soviet citizen. He was only able to return to Earth after an agreement was made between the United States and Russia. After the chaos began to dissipate, there was funding to send more astronauts for the new missions to orbit. Still, it wasn't until three months after the deal that Sergei returned home. He touched down in Kazakhstan, looking weak and pale. But thankfully, he had endured a long stay in the unknown and was finally home. He even joked saying, if individuals can survive this long in space, we're ready to colonize Mars. He was kept under observation for a while to check for any impacts on his mind or body. But besides malnutrition, surprisingly, he was doing fine. In fact, by the end of that very year, NASA appointed him onto numerous and significant space missions. In his 20 years of service, Sergei was the astronaut who logged the most time in space, accounting for a total of 803 days across six different missions, and he was honored as a hero of the Soviet Union. And you, would you have chosen to stay in order to save the mission, or would you return to Earth? Thank you for staying with us till the end, and see you in the next video.